Hello again, this is Oliver and welcome back to yet another video, short video where I explain different analysis techniques for Sudoku. If you like my videos, be sure and give me the thumbs up and you might think of subscribing as well, be greatly appreciated. Now today we have a really, really exciting one. This was, um, I found out about this from a guy in Canada called Glenn Scott and Glenn, thank you very much. It's why I'm calling it Glenn's Technique. If you're trying to find a chain and you have a whole load of cells with pairs in them, this is how Glenn does it. Now he uses the old pen and paper. Uh, I like to use the computer, but I find this is really, really good because I've always found this difficult. Where do you start? Like you have this here and what are you going to do? By the way, this is the diabolical one from the Telegraph of the 26th of August, 2022. Now what Glenn suggests you do is you circle every cell that just has a pair in it. And that's a great idea because it sort of focuses the mind. So that's the first thing we do. Sorry, I'm very uncomfortable here. Now, the next thing you go to, let's take, for example, house one. And we have two cells there that have been highlighted. And you see, is there any numbers that are unique? They don't appear in anywhere else. So for example, the, the possible three and the possible one. So you highlight those. Um, then in the next house, house two, we have a 14, a four and a nine, a four and a five and a five and a six. And the ones that are unique there are the nine and the six. Go through the entire thing first and try and work those out now. Now, as it turns out, the very first one you look at almost gives you a solution immediately. So we won't go to that one. Let us take someone else. Um, Actually, we will. We'll go into the first house. First house, we had either the three in cell A1 or the one in cell B2. Now, let's have a look at the three. So, for to start off with that three, look throughout the entire puzzle and see is there another three in any one of our highlighted cells? And you'll see the one in G3. And all you have to do now is try and work out a chain because we now have a start and an end. And that's a you know, that's a great starting point. It's something I never had before. I was usually just blundering around. But this is great. Start at three, end at the three. So we start off and go, go three, nine, nine, four, four, five, five, one, one, five, five, three. Yippee, we have a chain. That was simple. And from that, we're going to be able to get rid of the three in A3. We're also going to be able to get rid of the threes in G1 and H1. So we got rid of three in that. OK. And while I was looking at it, I thought, are there any other chains? So I looked at house two. And if we look at our two cells there, A5 and B6, the uniques there are Oh, there's also another A6 as well. So the uniques there are our 9 in A5 and our 6 in B6. So starting now with that 6 in B6. So we want to find another 6 somewhere in our target cell. So look around and see, can you see another 6 anywhere? And the only one I can find is down in H2. This looks good. So we can start off in B6, end in H2, and if that works, we're going to be able to get rid of the six in H6. So let's have a look, can we do it? So we start off with six, six, five, and where do we go from there? Let's say go over to the right, five, one. That doesn't do anything for us. Six, five, five, four, four nine nine four four six we have a second chain and we can get rid of the six in h6 now wasn't that brilliant glenn scott you're a genius that's all i can say you're an absolute genius i'm going to be using this method for the rest of my time doing sudoku all right 
So that's it done and thank you very much Glenn and thank you very much for you yourself for having a look at it. If you like these tutorials or if you like the ones where we actually solve Sudoku puzzles do give us a thumbs up, subscribe if you can and sure look, hope you come back soon. Till then, Slán Tamo.